हेलो प्रिंसिपल दास म्यूट करा चे म्यूट करा चे आह बोलते सर भालो आचे हाँ मोटा मोटी आची क्या बना आचे तुम क्या बना आचे बोलो हाँ भालो आचे तुम ये इखने प्रिंसिपल हो चे कोतो दिन हुलो प्रिंसिपल हो चे ए दो हाँ एक बहुत सोर चार मास हुए कलो एक बहुत सोर उटा उटा वो वो आगे कॉलेज तो थे के कोतो दूर डोम कॉल उठा अच्छे बहरमपुर बहरमपुर थे के एक घंटा जीते हैं आह एक घंटा जीते हैं अच्छा अच्छा तार नहीं जावो तो खाने के बाद जीते हैं अभी अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है अच्छा ठीक है अच्छा निश्चित जावो निश्चित जावो जीते तो भला लग बेच नो तुम जाएगा होले जीते भला लग बे � विश्वजीत इस चो आनंद इस चो आनंद क्या मना चो आनंद सुनते हो गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग हाँ गुड इवनिंग सर वाला सी हमने वाला सी चल 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 अच्छी बात है वाला सी आगे सबसे तो देखा होगा जाइयो हाँ हाँ और आपने क्या देख लाम तुम ही चाहता खावा ले हाँ देख देख लाम हाँ हाँ ओके आमी बोरो भारे आंते बोले चे रोकी कोरे चे आमी तो अपन क्लासे दोरा दोरी दे चिलाम आमी अपन बुक लाम ना हाँ ठीक है ना ठीक है ना ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है आर ये कुछ है हमारे एक है ना क्या आचो के केबीएस से क्या आचो अभी जी दाचो हाँ सर कैन वी स्टार्ट ना मैं एक बार शुरू करूँ एक को था लामा को थ ओके ओके देखते पाए तो मुक्त है ना देखते पहले की करे हाँ जैक सो हाँ ये ये यू कैन स्टार्ट ना यू कैन स्टार्ट ना दिस इज़ ऑलरेडी एट फिफ्टी फिफ्टी टू सो यू स्टार्ट ना ओके वन सेकंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वी आर एट द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ़ आवर सेवेन डे लॉन्ग एक्टिवी प्रोग्राम एंड Please. Brumbo. Uh, good evening to you all. Uh, respected Professor uh, Deepthi Kumar Chakraborty, respected Professor Pema Lama, respected dignitary, academic luminary, and all our uh, eminent resource person, uh, all our eminent uh, participants, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the end of our one week faculty development program on research methodology and develop data analysis which um, commenced on november 21st and uh, ends today on november 27 2022 and it has been a very uh, enjoyable journey uh, an academic endeavor and academic journey which have been very enjoyable and highly enriching where all the our eminent resource persons have spoke and shared their um, thought-provoking deliberations on various aspects of research methodology and data analysis. Now, now I would, on behalf of KBSSA, it is my proud privilege and honor to welcome all our respected dignitaries. First of all, I would like to welcome Professor Dr. Dipti Kumar Chakraborty, former head and professor, Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, and honorable president of Kolkata Bidhanagar Society for Academic Advancement, who has been a constant source of inspiration and guiding light to all the academic endeavors of our society. A warm and hearty welcome to you, sir. It is also my proud privilege and honor to welcome Professor Pema Lama, Associate Professor, Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, and Honorable Secretary, Kolkata Bidhanagar Society for Academic Advancement, whose tireless effort and ever-enterprising nature act as a source of motivation for not only the students and researchers, but also to us academicians. A warm and hearty welcome to you also, sir. Now I also take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Obhijit Kundu, our Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Barakpur Rashtraburu Shurindunath College, an Honorable Governing Body Member, and Organizing Secretary of this one-week faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis. Sir, a warm welcome to you. 
I would also like to welcome all our joint organizing secretaries, Professor Rishi Bhargav Das, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Nogan College, Autonomous Assam, Dr. Shottojit Ghorai, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Jhargam Raj College, Jhargam, and Dr. Alok Kumar Das, Principal, Domkol Girls College, Mushidabad, who have all um, given their active support and cooperation to uh, Dr. Ubijit Kundu for the successful conduct of this one week faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis. Now I would like to um, request Professor Pema Lama to share his thoughts on this uh, one week faculty development program. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Brahmo, sir. So good evening uh, to all of you. And we are on the last day, that means day seven, on valedictory session. So we have uh, completed our one week faculty development program online on research methodology and data analysis, uh, which has been held from uh, November 21 to today 27. Timing is seven to nine, organized by our Kolkata Bidhan Nagar Society for Academic Advancement, jointly with Naugaon College, Autonomous, Assam, Jhargram Raj College, Jhargram, and Domkol Girls College, Mushidabad. In this program, in this research methodology and data analysis FDP program, we have uh, three, 13, 13 resource persons. They have given their precious time to us out of their BG, BG schedule. So thank you very much, sir or madam, to all of you. We have in the first, we, we have completed seven days. We have in the first day that were Ananda Monpal and Samabrata Das and day two, uh, Dr. Rupam Mukherjee and Dr. Sudipta Ghos. And in day three, we have Dr. Vishwajit Pal and Dr. Rinki Das. And we have day four, uh, CA Anandara Saha and Dr. Uh, uh, Sujay Kumar Dhar. On 20, uh, fifth May, that means fifth, fifth day, Dr. Somo Shaha and Professor Bidud Das. On the sixth day, we have Dr. Sushmita Chatterjee and Dr. Surya Begum. And on 27th, we have Chitra Deepa. Chakravarti. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir, to all of you for giving us your precious time to us out of your busy schedule. As we all know, uh, we are on the valedictory session. So I want to say something about the society. Our society has just started its journey with 13 members. Many of us uh, say that 13 is an unlucky. But for me and for our society, 13 is very, very, very lucky. We have 13 members. We have a president, Professor Dipti Kumar Chakravarti. We have a, a two vice president, Dr. Uttam Kumar Dotto and Dr. Anandaman Pal, myself, press secretary, and um, Professor Somo Mukherjee is a treasurer, and Professor or Doctor and Dr. Uh, Dhruvananjan Dandapath is a member. There is a Sudipto Ghosh, Dr. Sudipto Ghosh, Brahmo Choudhury, and uh, Sujay Kumar Dhar, Vishwajit Pal. These are the members of our governing body, uh, governing body members, 13 members. So uh, as well as Amarjit Singh is there and Avjit Kundu, sorry, Avjit Kundu is there. And uh, our one lady is there and uh, that FCA Sukhata Gango Paddai. So during this journey of eight months, we have already completed three seminars, uh, three, three uh, uh, assignments. Number one, we have done a career counseling session and webinar on decentralized finance and introduction to digital currencies, cryptocurrency on online mode, conducted by ER, EIRC ICAI jointly with training and placement cell Naugaon College, Autonomous Assam. Next, number two, first we have organized a first international webinar on social science research jointly with EIRC. ICAI on September 23rd and the first one career counseling where we started on uh, April 28 and second one is uh, September 23rd and this one one week faculty development program we are going to complete today. So we have 96 annual members till date as well as 46 editorial board members including advisory board members and as well as associate editors. Most of the associate editors are our teachers in the uh, assistant professor grade, as well as uh, in the editorial advisory board, 
we have the professors as well as associate professors, great teachers. As well as our uh, president, Professor Dr. Uh, Ditti Kumar Chakravarti has given one name to our journal, that means Journal of Academic Advancement. The, we, we have already published uh, our journal. It is, uh, it is a biannual peer-reviewed referee journal. The name has been given by our president, sir. So he told me to give the name of the journal as Journal of Academic Advancement. So we have started our journey of the first issue of our journal on June 22nd, this 22nd. And we are going to publish the second issue. That means volume one, second issue on December 22. OK, we have already received four, uh, five articles to be published for our December issue. OK, so thank you very much to all of the participants for attending all the sessions of our 13 resource persons, as well as thanks you uh, thanks to all my uh, resource persons for their excellent presentation, deliberation on behalf of Kolkata Vidhan Nagar Society for academic advancement. And one thing, the last uh, thing I want to say, we are going to introduce or we are going to conduct a business lecture series uh, in a due course of time. It will be intimated through WhatsApp in an annual members group. OK, so thank you very much for giving me a time to speak something. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir for sharing your valuable thoughts on our society as well as the FDP and for the forthcoming program as well. Now I would like to request um, uh, Professor Rishi Bhargav Das to share his thoughts on this one week faculty development program. Professor Rishi Bhargav Das is the Assistant Professor Department of Commerce, Nogong College, Autonomous Assam and the Joint Organizing Secretary of this one week FDP on Research Methodology and Data Analysis. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Professor Good Dan. evening, everyone, respected uh, faculties and uh, all the members of KBSSA. I, it's, uh, it's been a great opportunity for us to be participating with you. And I just want to start a quote said by Swami Vivekananda that is, arise awake and stop not until the goal is reached. So since uh, this entire society is, in a, is a growing forward, and taking all the educationist academician in the way of uh, partnering them to their achievement, academic achievement, it, it is always a uh, great benefit for our society, plus even all the members who are present here. Uh, what I feel is the, with the research is that uh, since I'm also doing my research work, until and unless we, uh, we think of it, we involve in it, the outcome does not come. And uh, that has been taught us by our resource person. On behalf of Nogaon College principal, IQC coordinator, and myself, I especially give my entire heartiest thanks to all the person who have been involved here, especially the resource person who was greatly involving with their great ideas. All the topics were great. And uh, this uh, online meet has given us a great opportunity. The timing was good the placement was good everything was good especially the technical team however they have handled the situation i give a big clap to you and uh, i think this is not the end because we have just arise and awake and our goal is still not reached and every time i speak with lama sir our dipti sir is there and various faculties are there they will definitely help us and uh, i think this brainchild will definitely grow adult and uh, we will definitely enjoy more with this uh, in the coming years thank you so much i give my sincere regards for involving us in this program and special thanks to each and everyone even the resource person the uh, coordinators uh, joint secretary and special thanks to the technical team also for handling the very beautiful program thank you sir keep blessing thank you so much sir professor rishi bhargav das uh, for uh... Uh, you're sharing your valuable thoughts on this FDP and wishing the uh, future success of our society. Now I would like to request uh, Dr. Shottajit Ghorai, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Jhargram Raj College, Jhargram, and Joint Organizing Secretary of this one week FDP on research methodology and data analysis to share his thoughts on this FDP. Professor, uh, Dr. Ghorai. 
Thank you, Bambu sir. Uh, good evening to all. I feel really honored and privileged to be a part of this wonderful academic endeavor, one week faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis. On behalf of the entire family of Jhargram Raj College and my personal behalf, I express my sincere gratitude and regards to Professor Dr. Deepti Kumar Chakraborty, Honorable President, Kolkata Vidhanagar Society for Academic Advancement and former Head and Professor, Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, and Professor Prema Lama, Honorable Secretary of our Society and Associate Professor, Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, for taking all the pains for arranging such a resourceful program in an unique manner and for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this program. Actually, this program has properly addressed the need of the hour, particularly almost all aspects of the resource, research methodology and data analysis technique thoroughly. Hope all the participants have enjoyed and enriched by such thought-provoking deliberation of our respected resource persons. I also took this opportunity to extend my heartfelt thanks and rigors to all the resource persons who have enlightened us in last one week throughout the program by their vast knowledge, particularly in the field of research. Hope in future also we all move ahead together really to make the impossible possible, to know the unknown and to convert all the threats into opportunities. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much for your valuable presence and presence. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Ghorai. Now I would like to request Dr. Alok Kumar Dash, Principal, Dongkol Girls College, Murshidabad, and Joint Organizing Secretary of this one week FDP on research methodology and data analysis to share his thoughts on this FDP. Over to you, sir. Uh, good evening, everybody. Respected President of uh, Kolkata Vidhanagar Society for Academic Advancement, uh, Professor Deepti Chakraborty, my younger brother, Prema Lama, and other dignitaries and also participants. It is my great opportunity to include Dhamkal Girls College in this academic development program. Uh, actually, our college is very farthest and also situated in a remote area. But I please, I am very pleased to be the share member of this program. Uh, due to huge academic activities, I also uh, not participated in this program in uh, previous time. It is my uh, lacuna. But I think all credit goes to Professor Prema Lama because he is my younger brother, I think, but he has made very uh, sincere and senior to us. I think this program and this type of program in future will be enlightened by, with the help of all members thanking you. Thank you so much, sir, Dr. Dash, for your uh, for sharing your valuable thoughts on this FDP. And now I would uh, like to request our eminent resource persons to please come forward and share your experience of um, conducting the uh, this session, uh, your respective sessions, and sharing your overall thoughts on on this uh, one week faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis. Anyone, please volunteer. Any of the research person, resource person. <laughs> Should I say something, Dr. Shama Brother Dashia? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, okay. sure. Okay, go, good evening, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers, my sincere gratitude and thanks to them 
for choosing a very pertinent topic the topic is very relevant for the researchers and the schedule was designed in a meticulous way very well designed schedule and i think that the participants will be immensely benefited from this faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis and looking forward to more such programs in future both in online and offline mode once again big thank you to all concerned thank you sir thank you so much uh, sir dr shamabrata dash now i would request uh, any uh, any one of you of our eminent resource persons to please come forward and share your thoughts uh good evening everyone uh, i would like to share my views on yes, you want to? Uh, okay so okay yeah 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 uh, okay 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 so it was a great pleasure actually to be involved with this entire faculty development program and uh, the main thing is that what i felt as a uh, uh, to become a part of this a uh, whole endeavor academic endeavor i feel that is the thought behind arranging such faculty development program i have uh, talked with uh, uh, lama sir respected lama sir also regarding that that this kind of programs should be uh, sh as it is organized we have uh, i have came across number of faculty development programs earlier also as a participant actually but uh, when i get the chance to speak as a resource person it was a kind of uh, what to say motivation and encouragement also like it it it, it was also a kind of learning for, for me it was also a learning from me the way i have addressed or i don't know whether i could uh, reach out to the to my audience or not but i have tried i also said that in my uh, during my uh, presentation that day on day 3 uh, so i have also learned a lot and yes it is rightly mentioned by my earlier resource person uh, sir has also rightly mentioned that the way the entire program was designed really it was very praiseworthy the timing was also designed in such a way so that all of the participants resource person they they could manage their time in a very nice manner after doing all their daily activities their college hours or university hours the evening was selected to give the lecture so it was very nicely designed and uh, from the uh, i th i think the participants were also so much cooperative that even it was so uh, like 7 to 8 8 to 9 but they were very much cooperative and participative at the same time so i would like to wish all the very success to the entire uh, kolkata vidhanagar society for academic advancement so that they could carry such uh, encouraging programs in the near future also and i would be definitely happy if i get chances in the future to uh, participate in such kind of programs i will be definitely happy so thank you to all the uh, organizing team that the three different colleges who were also jointly in this endeavor the respected resource persons from different colleges and universities and uh, respected participants thank you so much and we would definitely uh, move in such a uh, learning process in the near future also thank you so much Thank you so much, ma'am. Dr. Rinki Dash, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Human Resource Management, Golaghat Commerce College, Assam, for sharing your valuable thoughts on this FDP. Now, I think Dr. Shurya Begum would like to uh, share her thoughts on on this uh, one week FDP. So, Dr. Shurya Begum, Professor in IIT Bengaluru, you are requested to play, please uh, share your valuable thoughts. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I think the resource persons uh, already uh, told rightly said they have already shared like whatever I wanted to share and whatever the same thing I have uh, most of the things observed. Um, it was really a like uh, given opportunity. She. 
uh, like we have attended we have attended also have delivered uh, uh, sessions as a resource person in the programs and also uh, i present and uh, conducted many workshops also uh, because my main domain is data science and machine learning so it was and also a uh, an honor that they have given a opportunity for us to present our things i and said like uh, all the resource persons uh, have a tremendous knowledge about whatever the topics they have presented it was uh, uh, conducted very nicely um, proper uh, like uh, when, whenever i just I saw the timings and all these things uh, proper reminders has been given then the links has been uh, sent to all the participants as well as to the resource persons because uh, as the resource persons we are all working uh, sometimes we'll forget because i think once or twice i forgot then i just uh, reminded by seeing the link and reminder it is just we have to attend so like that i have attended all the sessions then um, it was really very very informative i would like to thank uh, dr pemala ma sir uh, because i know him uh, since a long very long time uh, a very great person and a very like humble person uh, nice meeting you sir i will take this platform to thank you and also all the other organizing uh, committees and teams who have uh, sponsored this program uh, i would like to thank all the participants also uh, they have participated uh, i hope they got the some knowledge i cannot say that uh, everything they got to know but those who are doing the research so it is like a platform they came to know so many things about how to go about uh, the is like research how to collect the data what are the different ways to collect the data then if they want to do the analysis there are so many tools available depending upon their domain or specific topic in whichever they are conducting their research so all these things uh so like uh, so is uh, regarding a timing i was very very happy uh, proper time has started and it has ended also it was not uh, pro prolonging also so once again i thank you all it was a wonderful uh, session looking uh, forward for, for such kind of sessions so i would like to share one thing uh, like uh, the participants okay will be benefited if we give some practical knowledge in the form of demonstration and uh, showing the things okay practically and uh, just um, sharing the knowledge will be very much benefited to the participants uh, like some sessions uh, it is not like please it is not a comment i am not commenting anything so let it be any topic if we have some hands on session let it be uh, for a, like for example if it is a one hour session right if we could demonstrate if we give the demo on the same conceptual uh, things in the form of a practical hands on session then it will be more benefited to the participants so this i am exp experiencing and sharing the knowledge as a participant also if we conduct in the future uh, such kind of uh, fdps or uh, workshops that will be very very nice so it is just uh, a thought i just wanted to share Uh, so that uh, whatever we are doing, we are uh, doing, we are preparing a lot. So, like whatever we are doing, it should be benefited to the participants. So that is what one of my main goal. So thinking that I am telling. Otherwise, all resource persons are no doubt uh, wonderful. They are all doctors, professors, and all. They are having a lot of uh, knowledge in their own uh, research fields. It was uh, really very nice to see the different resource persons from different universities, different platforms. It was very, yeah, it was really very very nice. thank you once again i thank you all the organizing team participants professors doctors uh, teaching uh, fraternity as well as the student fraternity thank you thank you once again thank you so much ma'am dr surya begum thank you for your valuable uh, suggestion and your valuable thoughts on our one week faculty development program now we have with uh, we have amongst us uh, dr uttam kumar datto professor of uh, Netaji Subhash Open University, an honorable vice president of Kolkata Vidhan Nagar Society for Academic Advancement. So, I would like to request Dr. Dotto, Professor Dr. Dotto, to share his thoughts on this one week FGP on research methodology and data analysis, sir. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, am I audible? Am I am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, 
অনারেবল প্রেসিডেন্ট প্রফেসর দীপ্তি কুমার চক্রবর্তী আওয়ার কনফারেন্স সেক্রেটারি প্রফেসর প্রেমা লাবা ডিয়ার পার্টিসিপেন্টস অ্যান্ড ফ্রেন্ডস অ্যাট দা আউটসাইড আই এক্সপ্রেস মাই হার্ট ফিল থ্যাংকস টু কলকাতা বিধাননগর সোসাইটি ফর একাডেমিক অ্যাডভান্সমেন্ট ফর অর্গান দিস টাইপ অফ ফ্যাকাল্টি ডেভেলপমেন্ট প্রোগ্রাম রিয়েলি ইটস এ গ্রেট ইনিশিয়েটিভ বাই আওয়ার অ্যাসোসিয়েশন আই এক্সপ্রেস মাই সিনস থ্যাংকস টু অল দ্য পার্টিসিপেন্টস টু অ্যাটেন্ড দিস ওয়ান উইক অনলাইন ফ্যাকাল্টি ডেভেলপমেন্ট প্রোগ্রাম on research methodology and data analysis i am always grateful because four or five the four to five days i have attended this program and on the basis of discussions on the basis of deliberations made by our resource persons really i am benefited so i express my sincere thanks to all the resource persons for their nice deliberations friends all of you know that technological advancement and aggressive competition have made survival a wide ranging challenge in the business milieu today consequently organizations regardless of size and sector recognize the increasing significance and uses of research to enhance their efficiency and effectiveness i am sure that this one week faculty development program has provided a comprehensive and step wise understanding of the research process with a balanced blend of theory technologies and illustrations from a wide cross section of areas all the resource persons have tried to enrich our participants and young researchers about the subject research methodology i expect that our association our society will take further initiative to invite these resource persons one by one to deliver lecture on the same topic in an extensive manner so in fact i request our society to invite these resource persons so with this few words i again convey my heartfelt thanks to all thank you thank you so much sir dr dotta for your valuable and thoughts and your suggestions on this fdp and your our future course of action now uh, whether any our resource person would volunteer eminent resource person if you may please volunteer and share your thoughts on this fdp Mumbai sir this is uh, Dr Sujoy can i say a few words yes sir yes sir of course of course okay very very good evening to all of you so this research methodology and data analysis it is a very contemporary topic so thank you pema lama sir associate professor department of commerce university of calcutta and honorable secretary of kbsaa for giving me the opportunity to deliver a lecture on normality test it is really a nice interactive session where participant group consists students faculty members as well as research scholars so it is really a nice interactive session where participant group consists of faculty member research scholars as well as students several topics have been discussed in this one week sessions starting from how to handle the different softwares such as r python spss as well as different dimensions of statistics 
descriptive inferential statistic, regression, bivariate, multivariate, logistic regression, sampling, normality test, etc. I think this FDP will boost the learning outcome of the participants so that in the near future, they can produce quality intellectual outputs. My heartfelt gratitude goes to Secretary, sir, entire organizing committee, as well as the back, back end support team, without whose cooperation it would have not been possible to organize the event in such a seamless, seamless manner. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, Professor uh, Dr. Shujay Kumar Dhar for his valuable uh, thoughts on our FDP. Now I would request our participants to come forward and share their valuable thoughts on this FDP. Participants who have actively participated in this one week faculty development program on research methodology and data analysis. So if you may please come forward. Any participant? Your experience? Any participant? Sir, myself, Pallavi Shanal Chakraborty, and it's a uh, very good journey for us, I think so, and enjoyed a lot. It's too much interactive session it can be in the next time. Uh, really enjoyed a lot. Thanks to all of you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Is there anyone more from the participant side? Uh, Ramit, sir. Okay. Okay. Sir, you are muted. Please unmute yourself. I am sorry. Can I say a few words? Of course, sir. And I, I think I am clearly audible. Uh, yes. So a very good evening to all of you here. And my and I am very happy to be a part of this journey. And of course, I sincerely look forward for the upcoming activities of the association. As Professor Lama very rightly pointed out that we are all planning for a uh, lecture series. And I personally believe that uh, uh, since our entire focus is primarily on the students, so definitely we will be benefited with that lecture series. As far as this program is concerned, it is a, according to me, it is a very effective program. I would use the word effective because we have discussed all the contemporary topics. I do look, I sincerely look forward. I do look forward for many such endeavors in the days to follow. Thank you so very much from my side. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, Professor Roy. Now, um, due to uh, paucity of time, I would like to request our Honorable President, Professor Dr. Deepthi Kumar Chakraborty, to deliver the valedictory address. Over to you, sir, Professor Dr. Chakraborty. Thank you, Dr. Choudhury. <clears throat> Actually, uh, good evening to all of you. Am I audible? Can you listen to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Actually, my very dear participants, river resource persons, respected organizers and advisors from my own society, KBSAA, Naugao College, Autonomous Assam. Domkol Girls College, Jhargram Raj College, Jhargram. Actually, I have no words. I have no words to express my pleasure, my happiness, my satisfaction. Because the way in which all of you, that means the participants, the resource persons, the organizers, 
all have made this impossible thing possible impossible because as you mentioned earlier our society is still in its childhood financial constraint is there the organizers they are very young so in one way they are not so experienced in spite of that what we see that our dear participants unlike the cases of ugc sponsored program there is no compulsion for attendance in spite of that spontaneously i have seen it the attendance list in every classes every class that almost all the participants they actually attended almost all the sessions not only they attended but attentively they listened to the deliberations of our respective resource persons without any compulsion so spontaneously they have done it our resource persons actually our society is the very young society still a baby so i do not think that uh, we will be able to offer any honorarium to any of them in spite of that they have spent their valuable time in spite of their busy schedule and not only they have given their time as i mentioned uh, one day uh, in our whatsapp group that the enthusiasm the zeal from the beginning to end i have seen it i have observed observe it that with which they gave their deliberation they presented uh, their papers to our uh, new researchers i was truly overwhelmed the way they actually have done it our river our respected resource persons they tried their best i, I actually i listened it that they tried their best what uh, in case of uh, the professor seniors one uh, i do not see in that way but they have done it my young resource persons they have done it i have seen it and my organizers as i mentioned just now they are not so experienced but how professionally they conducted it the whole session as you some of you uh, have also mentioned the same thing so actually i could not but be fully satisfied uh, 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 and my pleasure my joy actually knows no bound and i have no words to express my gratitude my thankfulness uh, to all of you the participant the research uh, the resource persons as well as uh, the organizers and also the advisors and i believe uh, my dear participants uh, that the way you have uh, learned the nitty-gritty of uh, the research methodology and the data analysis i believe that uh, it will be uh, very much helpful to all of you uh, in your actually later period later period in your working life uh, in your research uh in actually uh, taking classes at just now one of one of your participants mentioned that mainly we are concerned uh, with the students so the benefit of the students for the benefit of the students it will be very much helpful i believe <clears throat> however i am not a man of statistics so the i have very little knowledge about Uh, all the uh, data analysis uh, techniques or the research methodology <clears throat> but what i believe from my common sense and my large experience in the uh, phd uh, advisory committee research advisory committee that <clears throat> at the very basic at the very center at the very hub of all your activities uh, is the data is the data the information your analysis is on that your methods will apply on that okay so if your data is not true if your data is not unbiased if your data is false 
this is motivated, this is manipulated, then whatever methods you apply, and in whatever uh, rigor you apply to analyze it, your result will not be effective, your research will have no use, and if the policy makers, they take help of your research for making their policies, economic policies, commercial policies, financial policies, then that will be detrimental to the society. So I believe the pertinent part of every research is to have the unbiased data, to have the true information. Actually, we in most cases use the questionnaire. And we based on the responses of the respondents. But I think you also opine with me then it, that in most cases, the respondents give their answer without knowing the exact meaning of your question. They do not understand the question and give the answer. Sometimes they understand, but not give the right answer. If there is controversy, then they want to be in the safe side. They give the answer in that way. For example, if some surveyor, some researcher, they ask some questions to our vice chancellor, to our register, uh, to our provost chancellor about the performance of our university. Then what kind of data you will collect? What kind of information they will give? Only the bright side. Only the bright side. Then if your research is based on that information, on that data, and with the help of that, you try to give the rank to our university, will that be justified? So how you will get the proper response from the respondents, the true data, this is very, very important, okay? You know about Obhijit Banerjee, the economist, the Nobel laureate. For this reason, uh, he talked about the experimental approach and the controlled trials. Perhaps you know it. Here, for us, this is impossible, I know it. This is not possible for us. But one thing as a layman, I may suggest to all my young researchers, that you must be always mindful about your surroundings. Then you'll be able to know whether the exact answer you are getting or not. Some of the resource person told during the session, I listened, and I know also this. In case of most of the statistical analysis, the first and foremost, foremost thing that you do is the assumptions. So if you do not have the proper knowledge about the surroundings, your assumptions will be wrong. And if your assumptions are wrong, okay, uh, one day I listened one point that in case of bivariate analysis, we assume that the relationship between the correlation between A and B, this is linear. Okay, this is linear, we assume it. Suppose two variables dependent and independent, you know it clearly that never there can be linear relationship between the two. In spite of that, you assume it. Then what will happen? In most cases, I have seen in different researches, that in most cases, we accept the convenience sampling. We have talked about different types of sampling. We know different methods of sampling, but in most researches, we adopt the convenience sampling. And you all researchers know that there are a number of shortcomings, limitations of, the, of this convenience sampling. So the data that you collect is not true or is not proper then how your result will be proper, whatever methods you adopt, whatever rigor you apply for the analysis. So this point perhaps, actually I have read somewhere that researchers must have the research mind first, then the research. You should be mindful about your surroundings. If you are a researcher, then you will not just see, but you will observe. 
you will just not listen but you will interpret you will not just read but you will absorb if you can do this this is my humble suggestion then there will be research mind and your research will be an effective research so now actually some unnecessary suggestions i give uh, and now actually i enter into for which actually the organizers they have asked me to join here or invite invited me actually they have asked me to give all of you the formal farewell okay the formal farewell the valediction the meaning of this valediction formal farewell but how can i uh, give this actually the question of this farewell this may be applicable to me i am the setting sun so actually i can get the farewell from different corners but you all are the rising suns you all are the rising suns so i think the time is not ripe to give you uh, the farewell okay it may be that in this session in this platform we will not be able to see you for the time being we will not be able to see you yes now this is the night in our country also we cannot see the sun but this does not mean that the sky is not uh, the sun is not there in the sky the american person the Can canadian person they are now the sun is the middle of the sky so sun is omnipresent never this is set okay in the same way you are the rising sun i cannot never give you uh, the farewell okay for the time being you are not here uh, actually you are taking the formally uh, some leave uh, for this session from this platform at best this is so okay but farewell no uh, goodbye no this i cannot uh, give to you <laughs> and moreover even if physically you will not be here i believe the way all of you the resource person the participants the way you have carved in our uh, actually heart your memory uh, we will never be able to forget it that means physically you may not be here but always you will be in our heart in our mind okay psychologically uh, you will be with us and i also strongly believe that in your memory also this session our association and the way the resource persons actually delivered it you will be always in your memory so physically yes this is your farewell but not psychologically not mentally so the farewell that i am giving to you this is only in formality not in reality okay with these few words i conclude and i wish uh, from the core of my heart i pray to the almighty that uh, your uh, future uh, actually become happier and healthier i do not wish the success i usually uh, wish that you become healthier and you become happier because success in most cases instead of bringing the happiness uh, they actually become the reason for our sorrow okay so thank you very much okay thank you very much and wish again uh, your grand success in future okay Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable insight on the essence of research as well as uh, the new meaning of validation and for wishing uh, us a healthier and happier future. Thank you so much, sir. Now I would like to <coughs> request Dr. Obhijit Kundu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Barakpur Rashtraguru Shurindranath College, an Honorable Governing Body member, and the organizing secretary of this one week fdp on research methodology and data analysis to deliver the formal vote of time over to you sir thank you thank you brambu 
Uh, now we are getting closer to the end of this uh, faculty development program. And at this juncture, I have to perform a very pleasant task that is to offer a vote of thanks. So at the very outset, uh, I just want to thank all our collaborating institutions for extending their uh, wholehearted cooperation to make this program happen. And we hope this type of cooperation will get in our future endeavor, academic endeavor as well. And at this point, I also take this opportunity or privilege to thank uh, from the core of my heart to all our joint organizing secretaries, to see uh, Rishi Bhargav Das sir, to Dr. Shottajit Ghorai sir, and to Alok Kumar Das sir. And uh, next thing is that uh, in this particular uh, one week long program, you know, we have uh, able to rope in so many resource person who have enriched us, who have uh, uh, given their precious time out of their basic schedule. So in the inaugural session, I just start with this inaugural session that I thank uh, a hearty vote of thanks to our Professor Dhruvaranjan Dondopat Sir, uh, Professor uh, Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, for giving uh, uh, the wonderful inaugural speech, motivating inaugural speech. And that speech uh, also followed by uh, special addresses by our Pemalama sir and other uh, dignitaries present in that particular inaugural session. So I thank all of you, sir, for your wonderful speech, wonderful motivating words that will work wonder wonder that will be wonderful in our uh, future uh, journey. And you know that all resource person are always the main pillars of any workshop, any uh, lecture, any faculty de development program, and this is not an exception here also. I offer a hearty vote of thanks to each and all our 13 resource persons for their wonderful and fruitful deliberations on various aspects of research methodology and data, data analysis, which ranges from you know how to do a, um, prepare a good research design to how to write a paper to logistic regression from descriptive statistics to bivariate and multi, multivariate regression analysis from R to Python. So I think uh, uh, it's, it's a uh, right time to thank them all uh, from the core of my heart. I now uh, uh, thank to all our 48 participants for uh, showing their interest and also uh, spontaneously and actively participating uh, in this particular workshop uh, throughout. This program cannot be completely successful without your wholehearted participation. So thank you, thank you, all of you. And uh, next thing, uh, I also thank and appreciate the performance of our wonderful technical team. Okay, wonderful technical members who always work behind the scene. Okay, but uh, without whom this program cannot be successfully completed in such a smooth manner. So a special thanks to Ronald Bhattacharji, who actually taken charge of total you know maintenance of this online platform and youtube live streaming so thank you ronak for this and along with uh, ronak i also want to thank uh, modumita dash madam lopamudra uh, bhattacharji madam priyanka modik madam shukanna bhattacharji madam uh, pingala roy choudhury madam mou dash madam mou uh, bhadra madam and raj dash now at last but not the least a big thank to our society that is Kolkata Bidhanagar Society for Academic Advancement and to all its governing body members. I uh, take this privilege to offer a special thanks to our Honorable President, Sir, Professor Deepthi Kumar Chakraborty, Sir, uh, for his continuous support, guidance, and inspiration. And also, you know, thanking you, Sir, for such a motivating speech in valedictory session. Now I can come to uh, our most important person. Okay, uh, I really falling short of words to thank uh, our uh, honorable secretary, sir, of the society, uh, Professor Pema Lama. And he's so energetic. So, you know, always try to involve in the work. And so I, I thank Professor Pema Lama, who worked tirelessly to make the program in a shape and in such a short period of time. So if we would have been in a you know physical mode, I think uh, we would request, uh, I, I would request all of you to join our hands uh, uh, to make a round of applause for the our secretary, sir. So I think all of us will agree with that, that without yes, him, sir. this program, 
uh, obviously thank you this program uh, could not uh, be completed in such a successful manner so at the end uh, i must tell that our society as our presidents have rightly pointed it out that our society is still at its childhood so we are at nascent stage but already we started taking big leaps forward okay we have already organized a few webinars and this uh, seven day long workshop okay faculty development program and we are also planning that's in the uh, next few days or month we are also coming out with some lecture series to cater the needs of different level of participants like undergraduate level like advanced learners many conferences workshops and currently though we have already our journal okay so uh, in such a short period of time we could manage to do all these things and that is uh, the you know the blessings of you all all the well wishers so i i, I wish all our participants resource persons and dignitaries present today that they will support our move and encourage us and always be with us in our future endeavor towards academic advancement so before i formally sign off i mean we are uh, formally saying uh, that thank you for this particular fdb program just two uh, announcement that's uh, 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 just we have completed our evaluation test and we got our scores in hands and i found that most of you or rather i say all of you had scored very well okay that also shows that how successfully we conducted uh, uh, this program and somehow it added uh, maybe very small uh, to your uh, existing knowledge okay and second thing also you will get this certificate uh, very soon uh, very soon within uh, today or within one or two days okay and the second notification is that one feedback feedback form will be uh, sh will be shared in the whatsapp group for today's first technical session okay so please fill it up and uh, so with this as of now we are signing off but hope to meet you all soon on a different platform on a different event with this i thank you all thank you very much good night thank you to you also you also abhijit uh, dr abhijit kundu the uh, you are the organizing secretary so uh, you actually deserve the special thanks so on behalf of all of us uh, we convey our sincere thanks to you also so successfully you organized this seven day seminar so, so this is because you all all are here yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes yes yes, yeah. yes. Join thank, thank you thank you sir okay acha kind except kindly please switch on your videos please for <laughs> Obijit, Obijit, video on Korini. Obijit has not. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. You you will take a snap, a photo. Okay. You do it. Uttam ko thay. Uttam dotto. Hey, Achin sir. That is there, sir. Uh, sir, Achin. I request all of you to, if it is possible, please switch on your video, so that you can take a picture. Um, Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Night. Uh, good night. Now, uh, now, thank do you. it one by one. Okay. Thank you. And